Hi there, I'm Matt with Onshape, and today I'm going to answer the question, how do I set up a class in Onshape? We'll take a look at three of the first actions you'll take when using classes and assignments. Creating a class, adding members, and creating assignments. As you can see, I'm logged into my free Onshape Educator plan. When you upgrade to Educator, you are given a classroom. Mine is called STEM Lab. A classroom is a container for all of your class data, including classes, assignments, documents, and students. In the menu on the left, you can also see classes. Let's create a new class. In Onshape, just like creating a new document, creating a new class starts with the blue Create button. Click Create and then select Class. When creating a new class, you simply need to give the class a name. Let's call it CAD 301. And optionally, I can write a short text description. Also notice I'll be adding that class to my class room. Once I click Create, the class is empty. There are no assignments and there's only one member, me. Let's add members first. There are two ways to add members to my class. I can click the Invite Users button and add them one at a time simply by pasting emails into the box. I'll go ahead and add Zoe and Igor. I can also select whether I want them to be students or educators. Click Invite and you can see that they are now added to the class. If I've got a lot of students in my class, perhaps a quicker way is to do it via CSV. I can click the Manage via CSV button and download the template. The template just allows me to add email addresses and whether I want them to be students or educators. Once I'm done with the template, I'll select the file to upload. I've just selected the Import Classroom Member CSV file that I've created earlier, and I'm going to process the upload. You'll see it just takes a few seconds, and all of those students are added to the class. Now I can see all of the members of my class. For students who already have Onshape accounts, you'll see that their name and their icon show up. You can see there's a student at the top who doesn't have an Onshape account yet, but they'll receive an email inviting them to create an account. They'll click a link in the email and they can quickly create their Onshape account. Great, now that I've added members, let's create our first assignment. If I go to the Assignments tab, I'll see it is currently empty. I'm going to create my first assignment. Let's just call it Lesson 1, and again, I can optionally add some text instructions and click Create. The assignment is created once I hit Apply. It's important to note that there are three submission options when creating assignments in Onshape. With submission option number one, as soon as a student begins the assignment, they will start with a new document, a fresh clean slate. That's great for when I want assignments to be relatively open-ended. Submission option number two is students begin with a copy of a selected document. You might know that in Onshape, you can upload just about any type of media to a document. This is a great way to scaffold assignments. So for this assignment, I will select a starter doc that I've created. I've added some drawings and some instructions to the pipe flange document. Now, when students click Start Assignment, a copy of this pipe flange document will be created and they've got something to work from, the reference drawings I added to the document. For these first two submission options, you can also control whether students can share the assignment documents. If students are collaborating, you definitely want to leave sharing on, but maybe for an individual assessment, you can lock it down. Submission option number three is students can choose what to submit. This is great for long-term assignments where I might want students to submit the same document maybe three or four weeks in a row. So when they log into Onshape and go to their classes, they'll see maybe a week four check-in assignment. When they go to start the assignment, the first thing Onshape will do is ask them to attach an existing document. And when they're ready, they'll hit submit. That will create a version, a snapshot in time, and they can actually keep working on the document, which I think is really cool because I can see exactly where they were when they submitted, even though they can continue to work on the document. For this assignment, I'm going to leave it as submission option two and hit apply. Now I can't hit publish yet because I haven't published the class. So right now it's important to note that I'm kind of setting up my class. This might be at the beginning of the semester. No student has received an email yet that they are in a class or have an assignment. As soon as I hit publish class, that actually creates the class. Students will receive an email letting them know that they've been invited to the class. And once I publish the assignment, that will actually send the email letting them know that they've got some work to do. I can monitor student progress on the assignment page in the activity section. No one has started yet, but once they do, their activity will update here. So briefly, that is some of the first things you'll do when using classes and assignments, creating a class, adding members, and creating assignments. To learn more about educator workflows in Onshape, make sure to check out the Learning Center course, Teaching a Class in Onshape. If you have any questions or if there are any other topics you'd like to see covered in future videos, leave a comment below. Thanks, and see you next time.